So thinking about disability rights and disability laws, especially whenever we're applying them to the college environment or to the workplace and beyond, I think it's important for all of us to start back in 1973. With the passage of the Rehabilitation Act, which was a federal law that protected people from discrimination. And that applies to colleges, universities, places of public accommodation that receive federal funding. Then we move forward to 1990 and Congress passed the Americans with Disabilities Act. And when we think about the ADA of 1990, we really are thinking about Congress providing protections for people that had very visible disabilities. What about somebody with maybe an invisible disability like diabetes? We found that too many courts were um, excluding them from the protections. Jumping forward past 1990, we go to 2008 and we see the ADA Amendments Act passed. Which made very clear that this legal term disability was made to be expansive and make sure that everybody was covered. Since 2008, every person with diabetes is protected by federal disability anti-discrimination law. There are a million reasons why we may not want to share with others that we're living with diabetes. There's stigma that exists in our communities, there are stigmas that exist in the workplace, there are stigmas that exist in schools, even that exist within the diabetes universe. When I was diagnosed with diabetes, I struggled a bit with the idea that now you have a disability. What I've learned as a disability rights lawyer is that this is a legal term that helps people who need any type of extra help, accommodations, opportunity, get what they need. An accommodation under the ADA is actually just a modification of a policy or practice. It really is a legal term that's designed to protect people, not to stigmatize, not to label or anything else. I think that asking for accommodations um, is the first step to getting that support that you need, but a lot of students are, are scared to speak up. It comes from this complex that a lot of us have as type ones of not wanting to seem weak or not wanting to show that, you know, diabetes holds us back and which it doesn't at all. It, it doesn't mean that you're getting special treatment. It doesn't mean that you're getting a break. It helps to release our burden a little bit and it helps us to better assimilate with the environments that we're in. No one should ever feel bad for asking for accommodations ever at all. 